News just in. Scam Towers in City Center has just collapsed. This 47-story building built by the Baldy Lord in the late 20th century has collapsed today. As this report is being made, the injured are being brought to the hospital. There are no reported fatalities, but this is the largest disaster this city has seen for a long time. Pension scams risk destroying funds and lives. Lucy, it's the victims from the scams towers. Hey, John, we've got some serious traumas coming in here. Okay, let's get them in one by one. Okay. BP 160 and dropping. His left leg is badly smashed up. He's losing blood. Line in. Apinephrine, 200. Albuterol, 500. Bleeding is under control for now, but this is going to need some fixing up. Let's see what the doctors say. He needs to get attention as soon as possible. There are multiple compound fractures and excessive blood loss. BP is not stabilizing. There are internal injuries here. What does risk assessment mean? The difference between security and poverty. The difference between happiness and misery. The difference between life and death. Can we get a full scan completed? We need to consult with the trauma unit. I'll call them right away. Trauma unit. We've got a male here, about 43. He's losing a lot of blood. We're backing up here. Oh, but bring him up for a scan with all the other victims from Scam Towers. We are on our way. This is a difficult case. There are multiple fractures on the limbs, which will require several hours of surgery. There are also punctures to both lungs and risk of thrombosis. We have all the facts now to make an assessment. We need to look at the risks involved. The surgery is needed to start pinning the fractures as soon as possible. There are over 12 hours of surgery required here. If he is not operated on soon, he will never walk again. Scammers ignore the facts. Taking risks makes scammers rich. There's no way anyone who has this level of injury and with unstable blood pressure could sustain so many hours of surgery. He is in a very vulnerable position. Any increase to his risks more than is absolutely necessary is irresponsible. How long can we wait for the surgery? He can't be left for more than two days without getting the bones set. It will be a long and complicated operation. If we leave it for too long, we risk his ability to walk. He has two pelvic fractures. OK, that's a risk we have to take. We are here to save lives, so we have to make a full assessment of all the risks. We've gathered the facts from the scans and there's no denying that he is in a critical situation and we have to take extreme caution. Long hours of surgery are not suitable right now. We need to get him stable and reassess in 24 hours. 24 hours? We can't risk leaving the big operations much longer than that. There are risks on both sides, but as soon as we get him stable, we need to operate. I see your point, Roger. Let's see how he is in the morning. Lucy and John, can you set him up for ICU? OK. Let's see what tomorrow brings. What is your risk profile? How do you feel about losing your life savings? How do you feel about losing your life? It looks like he is in with a good chance if all goes well. He will be monitored overnight. Aye, let's hope he's one of the lucky ones. There were a lot of casualties after today's collapse of those scam towers. This reminds me of how badly my fact-finding and risks were never correctly assessed. It must be a sure indication of a scam, but I never knew. Pension scams kill. Aye, John, I am sorry. Did you have a good holiday? I didn't get to ask you, with all the drama here today. Yes, it was great. It's just that every day I understand more about how standards were not kept, and I was scammed out of my pension. People need to be warned. Taking risks is not what most of us want to do. Thanks very much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the fourth episode in our John Smith miniseries. I'd like to say a big welcome to Ras, who has joined our voiceover team, and a huge thank you to Joe Beth Young for being in this one as well. And if you haven't already, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with all the latest Pension Life videos and animations.